Hello people, welcome to Six Sigma journey and in today's topic we are going to talk about how to calculate Sigma label using simple Excel, how to convert Sigma label into the process capability, how to convert long term Sigma to short term or vice versa, how to convert Sigma into the DPMO, DPMO to Sigma and how to convert yield into the Sigma or Sigma to yield. So basically these are the main metric which we follow. Either we have our uh, Sigma label we have process capability which is CP and CPK then we will have our DPMO or maybe we have our yield and most of the time we are confused like as how to deal how to convert these things into the sigma level so which I am going to tell you as everyone understand why default we have a sigma level of the process which we start with start with as in let's say six sigma five sigma four sigma three sigma two sigma or one sigma right so these sigma label are always for the short term sigma please remember short term value is always higher than the long term so i will say this sigma level is for the short term in case i want to convert this sigma label to the long term sigma then i have to deduct 1.5 from that basically the short term sigma is equal to long term plus 1.5 or long term sigma is equal to short term minus 1.5 in the same way when i am having here long term which i am converting long term sigma what will be short term minus 1.5 so what i will do here you have short term sigma minus 1.5. So if your short term sigma is 6, then your long term sigma is going to be 4.5. Similar way, if your short term sigma is 6, long term will be minus 1.5, which is 3.5. If your short term is 4, minus 1.5 equal to 2.5 will be long term. If your short term is 3, then your long term is going to be 3 minus 1.5, which is 1.5. In case your short term is 2, then your long term will be 0.5 and if your short term is 1 then long term will be negative 0.5. So this is the way we code the sigma label. Now let's first understand how to convert the sigma into the yield. Basically when you are calculating sigma so how to get the yield in simple excel formula. So yield we can get like as if I want to get the short term yield. So my short term sigma is this how to convert the yield there is a very simple formula which converts sigma into the yield which is n o r m s d i s t norm dist you select your z value here select your z value and just close the bracket and you will get the yield so as the six sigma level means yield is going to be almost one so let's convert this into percentage so if you will go to the decimal place up to the seven decimal then you will get 99.9999999 percent yield at the short term sigma same formula i will continue which is norm as this selecting the z value so for the five sigma level my yield for the short term will be 99.9999713 then i am going to add the yield at the four sigma level which is 99.9968329 for the three sigma level short term yield will be 99.8650 for two sigma level for the short term yield is going to be 97.72 and for the one sigma level short term yield will be around 84 percent exactly in the similar way we can calculate the yield for the long term as well with the same formula and this is the mostly you must have read or you must have heard about this is the yield we follow so when sigma level is six at the short term which will be equivalent to sigma level of the five in the 4.5 in the long term and we are going to follow the same formula which is equal to n o r m s d i s t in this formula i will select my z value which is 4.5 and we will get the yield of 99.9997 percent which is what the yield we generally consider same way for the five sigma level my yield value is going to be 99.9767 percent for the four sigma level 
at the short term, which will be equivalent to 2.5 on the long term, my yield is going to be 99.37%. For the short term three or long term 1.5, my yield is going to be 93.31%. For the long term 0.5, it will be around 69%. And for the long term point, minus 0.5, it is going to be 30.85%. And this is the yield. Basically, we always measure everything in the long term. So this is the yield we will be considering. Now, when you have got the yield, how to convert the defect? You already know defect is always one minus yield. So if you want to say what is my defect on the short term basis, I will say what is one minus yield on the short term basis, which is this. So my defect is 0.0000001%. Similar way, Defect for the short term at five sigma level is 0.000287. Then for four sigma level, 0.0003167. Then for the three sigma level, it's 0.134. Then two sigma level is 2.27. And for the one sigma level is going to be 15.86%. All right. Now, if with the help of same formula, what we have done here, we can calculate the defect on the long term basis as well. So long term defect is going to be one minus your long term yield, right? So is equal to one minus long term yield is how much for the 4.5 sigma, which is this. So I will be selecting the yield, which is 99.997%. So my defect is going to be approximately 0.3%, 0.0003%, or actually it is will be 3.4 actually. And this is what we call 3.4 DPM. I will help you now to understand how to convert into the DPM as well. Now I am going to use the same formula. So this is around 233. This for the 4, 2, 4, 4 sigma for the short term or long term is 2.5. My defect is going to be approximately 0.62. Or 6200 ppm or dpmo and then for the 1.5 long term it is 6.68 and for the 0.5 long term it is going to be approximately 30.85 percent and for the one as in short term or minus 0.5 as in long term it is going to be 6914 69.14 percent this is about my defect long term now, how to convert the defect into the DPMO? Basically, what defect I'm getting is in the percentage out of 100. And now I want to convert this into the million. So what I will do, I will just divide this value into the million. All right. So DPMO, which is 3.4%, if you have, if I just multiply this DPO, basically multiplied by a million, which means 10 power raised to 6. So what I'm going to get? This is approximately 3.4 DPM, which we say 3.4 million per million defect, right? The same thing I will do, let's understand again, I have this value, which is a defect I got in the percentage. If I just multiply this with a million, which means 10 power raised to six, I will get my DPM, which is approximately 233, right? Now the same formula, let me continue and I will get these type of defect, which will say, okay, these are my defect. So this is the way we calculate Sigma label. We have the long term and the short term. Then we are going to have the yield. Then we are going to have the yield for the long term. Then we will convert into the defect. Then we have the defect and then we have the DPM. Now, another thing I'm going to help you to understand that how we convert yield in case you are getting any percentage output from any of the process to so how to convert that percentage into the Sigma. So it's very simple in the Excel. We will use one formula, which we call as a norm sine V. So using, suppose I want to convert, let's say yield to Sigma, if this is your short term and maybe yield to Sigma here, I'm going to have for the long term. And you will get the same Sigma level when I convert this yield. How? Let's understand in the simplest way in the Excel. So let's first convert the short term. 
short term is yield to sigma so here i am going to put a formula as n o r m s i n v if we select this formula what is the probability of the yield this yield is on the long term basis this one right so i will select this yield and i will close the bracket it is going to going to give me the sigma level if i convert into the decimal like as one or two decimal i am going to get this sigma level as in six similar way let me tell you again what is the formula n o r m s i n v select this formula select your probability and here you go you will get the five sigma level right now same formula i will copy and i will be keep getting my sigma level similar way exactly same way when you have the yield on the short term basis you can convert that into the sigma level how here is the formula same n o r m s i n v select this here is your short term yield i select and i got my sigma level as in 4.5 so this technique this particular calculation is so easy if we know in excel and you can convert any value let's say now i want to convert the dpmo into the yield or dpmo to sigma level so what <clears throat> how can convert dpmo maybe to yield you can easily calculate with the simple excel how yield is always what 1 minus your dpmo divided by 10 to the power 6 right so if i already have my dpmo dpmo first i have to convert that into the yield and then yield to sigma we can easily convert with the formula of norm sin p so dpmo to yield is equal to if i say 1 minus how much is 3.4 and this 3.4 is out of million so you just divide this by 10 power raised to 6 and here you go you you go to your yield for the 3.4 in the similar way i'll just let me tell you again is equal to if you have the 1 minus dpmo 233 if you divide by 10 power raised to 6 then you are going to get your yield here which we get exactly what we are getting here on the long term basis because this dpmo is long term so i will be getting the yield on the long term basis let me convert this into the percentage and show you exact value what we have seen like you will see got it similar way i just drag down this formula and you are going to get exactly the same yield what we have on the long term in the same fashion this is the dpmo to yield suppose i calculated for the long term if i want to convert the dpmo to yield on the short term databases so i need not to worry about anything i will just use the same formula only what i used here so dpmo to yield here i go changing long term to short term and in the short term basis what the same formula i will use like as is equal to 1 minus dpmo which is what i am going to get oh i did not convert into the dpmo first so let me first convert this long short term defect into the dpmo so what i have to do here is the dpmo short term like same thing i did for the dpmo long term here what i did i just have the value of the defect multiplied by 10 to the power 6 the same thing i am do i have the defect here i'll just multiply by 10 power raised to 6 and i got my dpm right which is almost zero at six sigma level now i am going to convert this six sigma then five sigma same formula four sigma three sigma two sigma or one sigma we got it right now this dpmo i can convert into the long term yield on the short term okay before we have done for the long term now we will do for the short term so what formula i used i simply used one minus dpmo divided by 10 power raised to six so here is equal to one minus dpmo for the short term is how much i have the dpmo short term is in the column i7 which is 0 0.000987 divided by 10 power raised to 6 i got my yield 
basically 99.999999999% almost 100% if i convert like this you will get the same value now the same formula i will continue again which is 1 minus dpmo divided by 10 power 6 is equal to 1 minus dpmo is how much for the phi sigma uh, for the short term 0.286652 divide by 10 power raised to 6 and you got here and the same thing I continue till the bottom. So this is how I got my yield and you already know how to convert yield into the sigma which I was just telling you before here as well right. Let me tell you again one more time for your reference. So if I want to convert maybe i have my yield long yield uh, long term to sigma basically yield to sigma long term or short term doesn't matter so here is the formula you will have n o r m s i n v select your yield which is the how much is the for the long term long term you have long term you have this yield so select that and you will get your what is your sigma level you are getting exactly from where we have started in the column this long term right the same way you can convert this yield into the short term as well let me tell you as in light last one last thing in this session so if you want to convert yield short term to sigma so where is the short term yield you have this is your short term yield and i want to convert this into the sigma use the same formula is equal to n o r m s i n v select your probability this close the bracket and here you got the sigma level six right the same formula you use again let me tell you one more time is equal to n o r m s i n v select your probability and close the bracket so you got five sigma then four sigma three sigma two sigma one sigma that's all this is very very simple thing to calculate yield sigma label dpmo how to do the conversion dpmo to yield yield to sigma sigma to dpmo or vice versa anything very easy concept if you are focusing on this you can calculate any kind of value and convert into the sigma level that's all for today's session in you like if you like my the way i presented you like the content you like the formulas then give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends thank you so much you have a good day